All right, we're back. This is Deluge. I just had a minor heart attack. I thought um, I uh, forgot to equip the Banshee um, armor. So th there's something special about this mission, right? Is um, the way you win this mission is you just have to get one soldier to the end of the map. You don't actually have to kill everything. It looks like the so um, what? From the My damage, understanding of this mission is the there's a first drop in that's like down. a muton up there. And let's see. So why don't we go to the here? And I think you also get one back like here. I can't remember. If we open the bypass um, positioned along the way to the transport. This. Let's see. I don't remember. I think I'm just going to take combat ready on you. Um, we're going to run up to Let's here. Do we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll do this. I think this is a reasonably good opening. We've got hostile aircraft moving in the vicinity of Strike One's position. It looks like the aliens are bringing in reinforcements to go after the truck. Okay, one over there. One over here. I see. So maybe it's not that it's always up here. Maybe it's that it's always in cover relative to where your soldier is. So by moving my soldiers up here, because I've never actually put a soldier up there before. So maybe by doing that, I canceled the uh, drop in, which is really interesting. The game doesn't think I'm being overwatched. Huh. Do I dare? I'm on the move. I'm going to do this. Maybe not. Maybe I save it, yeah, because I don't have that many turns. Well, huh, I'll be damned. So, Affirmative. I guess it really didn't overwatch me. What a crazy. Suppressing target. What a crazy. Good mind tray. So I could shoot to do like three to five damage, or I could mind prey, which I think is the superior move here. Okay. That is high cover, but it doesn't actually block line of sight. I learned that the hard way. So the muton can like shoot me, suppress me, do whatever it feels like doing. So I'm going to actually, um, I think I'm just going to stay there and take combat ready. This, however, is heavy cover. Okay. Get to there, I guess. Hmm. There. I'm gonna take combat ready. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. 
So if you touch these, then they trigger drop-ins. Um, so That's affirmative. if I can do the mission fast and not touch as many of these, then we're in a better position. What are we doing, dude? Okay. Rapid fire you. 99s. Wait, hold on. I have to red fog first. Aye, aye, Commander. God, mutons are so obnoxiously tanky. I have to go hunt down the other muton. Make sure it's not causing any trouble. Oh, okay, we got more aliens. But I can do this. Okay, so the muton is not there. It's three mutons, so there's one muton here. The other muton must have run away? Because if it's there, I would see it there, right? Okay. So we're going to do this. Unless I can just grenade. No, grenade doesn't deal as much. This is sort of the benefit of having absorption fields, is uh, I can kind of afford to just, like, stand here and shoot things. All right. We're going to do this. What am I doing? I don't need to do any of that. I could just... I was, like, trying to use my steady rapid fire, but I can just move up and shoot, or move up and rapid fire. Yeah. No, that's a main. A hundred, two to five. This is actually not a hundred percent to kill, but this is. Okay. He's down. We move up. Move up. Move up. And move up, take combat ready. We're sort of leaving two. Oh, there's the other Muton. I hope it doesn't figure out how to flank me. I hope. I can't hit it because of, um, whatchamacallit. Deflection shield. Okay, well. I guess I can overwatch. Um, the overwatch isn't great, but it, um, at least bypasses some DR. Okay. And it stopped the suppression. Nice. So I only take one damage on Cooper instead of three. Okay, um, so we're going to do this. I want to get both of them in it, if I possibly can. So we're going to... Got a gunner. Can I get vision on it? I can get vision on it. No, I can't. Hmm. Wait. No. Not quite. Just barely out. Oh, wait. Yes. Headed there now. So. What if I. Okay, so this is a. Oh, I could have. Jeez, 
I could have done it from down here. Anyway, I still would have been um, out in the open, but... Okay, okay, so now that I know that, okay. I can come to here. I can not rocket. I want to acid grenade. I want to acid... Like, I feel like this doesn't get both of them. Acid is super weird when it comes to, like, elevation. It's also super weird when it comes to, like, positioning. Um... Like, trying to position it on top of the thing. Well, let's find out if this does it. Yeah, it doesn't get any air, so it's gotta be this. Nice, got both. Okay. Alright. So, if I suppress both of them, what benefit do I get? I can grenade. I can't grenade in the air, can I? No. I can blow them up. The benefit is that... Well, one of them is going to die. No. can make sure one of these dies. Thirty-four is all around. I can smoke up here just in case. Okay. So here, let's just do that. This and another one of these. God, they're so tanky. We knew that about them, but still, holy cow. All right, we go over here. Overwatch. Okay, come to here. Do a little bit of this. It's got to be there, okay? Good. Um, dash to here. Well, if I was going to do that, I might as well have done it earlier. Seventy-nine. Okay. Negative damage. 79 again. Okay. No and then Rack do this. Bang. Do this. And then do this. God, oh my god. So frustrating. And I, I, I understand why. It's because of um, Will to Survive. Muton, Thin Man, and a Floater. Alright. So. We 
can come up to here. Eliminate that. Moving to position. This should die. Okay, good. Enemy unit All right, eliminated. and I come to here. Roger that. And shoot you. Apparently I was lying when I said we don't do much uh, flanking with medics. Floater. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't have enough mobility to get me. Okay. We're good here. Good here. You need to reload, huh? Go there. Gunner's just way behind. I'm pretty sure that tile, oh, I guess this tile is at least in cover. Okay. I'm basically debating on whether or not I should hit this this turn or next turn. Because um, I think if I hit this, I'm going to get drop-ins over there. So I'm going to be fighting Muton, Thin Man, Floater, plus whatever drops in. I think I might also get a drop-in behind me. So, um, I think... I think I want to actually not do that. Alright, so if that is the case, I will be able to hit this on the way up with the gunner, right? I have 7.3 mobility. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. So since I can't get any other reasonable tile anyway, I'd be doing that with the gunner. Okay, so I'm gonna actually run up Running. with you. Actually, that might've been a mistake, who knows. Um, 38, one. Um, I just can't get to anywhere. I'm gonna go to here. Damn won't hold much longer, Commander. We need to secure that truck before it's too late. Okay. Got a lot of heat on me. So we move up. Okay. Tap this on the way up. That valve is running wide open, okay. but we still need to secure the truck before it's too late. have to survive this turn. Okay, I have to clear out this truck. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to throw an acid in the truck, but I kind of want to be in the truck, if that makes any sense. What if I can get up to here? Hmm. That. I only have a single shot. Well, a single shot's better than no shot. I'm on it, Three to five, six to seven. How much is this? Four to six. Got it. So it's two to three more damage. Okay, well, I'm gonna do 40% more if I can red fog it. So I think that's what we do. Um. I got an acid in there, so this has to be the play. Something like this. Throwing grenade. Okay. That's gonna deal 11 to 12, okay. So now, um, you're the king of suicide flanking, so I kinda don't want to 
risk that. Let's see. Is there anything I can do to... I can suppress you for more damage. Okay, well, first of all, we're going to do this this turn. This is the, I think, most important turn of the mission. Let's have a peek. What do I have here? Can this reach? Anything I can do to get that? Oh, I can clip it. I can also just, no, I can't get, okay, Alien Grenade can get both of you here, okay. I think that's actually the play. All right, so what that means is that I can acid, oh, I can acid from here, actually. And that actually also means we can HE in here. Get it so the Thin Man isn't in cover relative to it. Okay. Stuck on this. We do this. Get rid of you. I need ammo. We're going to additionally probably actually probably flashbang you here. Okay. Um Just need to get to that hut. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, we will do this. Aye, aye. Commander. Hollow target. Walk up. Out. Shoot. Nice. Okay. 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 Um, I actually don't know the range on this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure this is doable. There now. I'll take combat ready. Okay. All right. I think we have done it. I, I believe we have done it. And we will move I'm on the up move. to here just in case. In. Looks like the aliens are sending in reinforcements, Commander. Uh. Car might explode. Ah, there's a mectoid. There's a sectoid. Sectoid. There's like an argument for like, if you want, you can kind of farm the mectoid corpse, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna grapple to here. This is why we brought the Banshee armor. Grapple to here. And then this is also why we took combat ready. We now have enough mobility to just dash to the end. There's the mission, okay. That looks like our target. Oh. Get over there and extract the weapon before that whole... The, uh, the day I discovered that strat, I was so happy because prior to that, um, I struggled with this mission so hard, right? Because basically, like, I hit the first, um, whatever the, I don't know what to call it, the thing that gives me more turns. I hit the first node, um, got drop-ins, got bogged down at the start, then I ran out of turns, so I hit the second node, got more drop-ins, hit the, and by, like, I ended up having to kill two mectoids, and then, like, I... I basically ran an Overwatch to dash somebody to the end and got lucky. And that's how I beat the mission the first time. Um, and uh, 
<laughs> not gonna lie, I, I seriously consider just turning off um, Operation Progeny. The, the mission after this one, Furies, I also hate it. <laughs> I hate that mission too. But now that I have a, uh, a pretty consistent solution to Deluge, like it's a lot more manageable. So big mobility point here, and I'll take a one point aim on the Shogun. Okay. I, I hope, like, if, if there was ever um, something useful that I could show viewers, it is that strat for Deluge. I'm so, um, impressed by the work of our soldiers. here we go. They seem to be extremely efficient. We will be in touch, Commander. This captive we recovered from the aliens, Annette, was apparently passed off to them by the Exalt organization. Okay, so here, oh, shoot. I was about to say, there's like actually um, a reasonable, like if I take light him up into hollow rounds, that's a rocketeer. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. But that's like the kind of rocketeer that doesn't, but then I could take acid tech. There's a 35% chance when I shoot to apply corrosion. So maybe, hold on, hold on. Can I just retrain 26 day fatigue penalty? What if what if I make the next Rocketeer a, uh, so like you? I wanna mech you. I don't have any more potential Rocketeers. I can retrain one. Like Kimura. Perks and quirks. 19 days. So on the terror mission, right, basically I would I would not bring a gunner, and I would bring a rocketeer instead who would just shoot twice to hollow something and would also bring acid tech. And then what would I take down here? I mean, the benefit is I would be able to rocket the um, the chrysalids and the zombies, but without having like the rocket perks, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I might as well bring a DT engineer, right? That's another interesting thought. So, like, where's my engineering class? That one. I could theoretically say I'll do double tap and then hollow targeting and then CST just in case a mectoid shows up. Um, and then at this point, I would not be using an arc rifle. I would just have a regular weapon. And then I'm repairing the Marauder. And then what do I use? Acid tech? So this is like the same build. Actually, maybe that's an idea. But then again, the grenades did so much work, but I could bring an assault with grenades. Huh. Let me think about that one. Annette. <laughs> is Annette the one? Um, Annette honestly makes a fantastic medic tank because of this bonkers will stat. Um, but, hmm, okay, things to think about, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Did I get any alloys? Not morning, enough alloys. Got a lot of money, though. Have more help down here. Maybe I, uh, do I buy more soldiers? So this is the funny thing, right? Like, the, um, the salary that you pay your soldiers scales quadratically with um, the number of soldiers you have. Um, it's basically an arithmetic series. So like, you know, it's like one plus two plus three plus four, which is like n squared plus n over two, right? Um, and uh, wealthy benefactor makes that zero. So I can afford to basically hire as many soldiers as I want, and I'm not like punishing myself for having a larger roster, which is the entire reason why I picked Wealthy Benefactor, because I just wanted to have different soldiers. Um, and, and potentially like in the later game, when you get to like, you know, 
you get a soldier and then you get to like four promotions on it um, to like actually have some interesting builds that like I don't normally use. But in order to do that, to work in the I have to purchase more soldiers. Well, either way, I'm going to wait until the 20th, right, to get the um, plus one stat roll for being next month. Um, aircraft is good. Okay, so we're just waiting. We're waiting for a UFO to show up so we can shoot. Oh, hi. Oh, that's uh, NOE. Well, we can't shoot it down. Oh, I guess that's an abduction, huh? Yeah, that's an abduction. Commander. We picked up multiple so we're, I think we're fighting in Asia. We're trying to calm, yeah, if we can calm Australia down, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, what was the other one? Russia? Russia. Okay. Oof, a heavy though. For four scientists. What's the map? The paper mill. Hmm, that's not a terrible map. So something that is worth considering, um, the amount of alien research, so each research point gives plus 2% of an alien level. Um, the amount of research that they gain from having extra bases um, now scales as a square root of number of bases, if I understand correctly. So um, in Long War Classic, it scales linearly with bases. So like having three bases is like three times the amount of bonus research, et cetera, et cetera, and it kind of gets out of hand really quick. Um, but in longer rebalance, that's like, you know, having three bases now 1.7 times, having the fourth base is two times, and then the next one is like 2.2, three, right? That's a square root of five. Um, and so the difference between like starting to lose more countries actually isn't that severe um, in like the is my understanding it might affect like i haven't checked how it affects like resources that much so maybe the aliens having a bunch of bases makes the air game not winnable um but right the consideration here is i might have to run a combat patrol in either asia or europe if i'm not careful but i'm pretty sure i'm doing the heavy um, and I'm gonna take, yeah, my other Shogun only has five days of fatigue because I did that mission pretty quickly. So we're gonna take a Shogun. Um, we're taking, this is in Japan. We've got Rocketeers from Japan. Um, Saito and Kimura. But I don't, like, we can't be taking a Lance Corporal for a, a heavy. do a carbine and a phalanx actually we might take the banshee on you um, this has two benefits one is the banshee armor has a repulsor um, so repulsor is if you are at full health anything that hits you will automatically graze so it'll deal half damage so basically since saito has such low hp um right so the difference is phalanx armor is mean, the same amount so Saito can get one tapped if I'm not careful, but having Repulsor means that Saito will get a graze on the first shot, guaranteed. The second benefit is I can keep Saito way back, and if a Mectoid does show up, I can grapple into a better position to get an acid on it. So that's that's um, my theory here. Okay, that one, that one. It's getting real cold out. Um. Let's see, we've got definitely you. Okay, okay. We're gonna sort of hedge our bets a little bit. And um, since I'm taking a mech on this mission, I'm gonna try to save the stronger infantry for another mission in case I get one. All right, we just got the council mission. Really, we're thinking like, what if we get a raider? We're bringing a gunner. Um, yeah, our other hollow targeter is just busted so hard. You're not busted. Okay. Let's go ahead and officer Komarov then.
there's an argument to like put the mobility perk on a gunner officer, but um, plus six, or plus twelve will to the entire squad, plus sixteen will for like UFOs. I think is just really strong. Um, just sectoids are so obnoxious, right? We we've seen how many times sectoids have just like successfully mind frayed and psi panicked us. I mean, if we can reduce those chances by you know. 12 for the squad here, 27 for Komarov, um, because Komarov gets plus 15 will from the perk itself. Um, that's that's huge, I think. All right, so we actually can give you an armor. Um, the thing is still busted. 12 hours. Uh, repair bay. Three days. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I am repairing it. Okay, okay. It's just the mission happened so fast that I didn't get a chance to take down. Okay, Komarov gets an LMG. Um, I guess a med kit. Oh, sorry, a med kit and a plating. Let's find a medic to bring. Heart is the only medic unless we bring Annette. I think this is Annette's debut. Um, unless Annette wants to be a Psy Engineer. Grants plus 20 will when multiple enemies are in sight. No, I think Annette is just a medic tank. Boom, 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 and boom. And what do we have for Psyonix? We have Psy Panic and Mind Merge. Cool. Okay. Load out Carapace Armor. Um, we're going to take a Laser Rifle with a Laser Pistol. Take Reinforced Plating. Take Proc Sensor. And I actually don't think I need an Alien Trophy on a net. Because the net has 59 plus 20 will if multiple enemies are in sight. So a net can actually take something else, like, I don't know, a scope? Be pretty clutch. Right? Because when a net goes up and shoots things. Mags? No. Another med kit? That actually could be clutch. Right? Three med kits, meaning you can run around healing people. Sure, we'll do that. Um, yeah, especially for the mech, because you can heal mechs with med kits. Oh yeah, that's that's big. Well, so that means instead of that, let's give you a trophy. Yeah, because you have such low will anyway. Yep, that makes sense. And one more. We would like a second support, I think. So a support scout. Still taking Kowalski. Um, a little middling squad. Um, I think like, hmm, having a tank and two supports and then a gunner, right? Because a gunner is kind of like a support. Not sure how I feel about this. I mean, what else, what else would I take? I could take, like, um, an Assault. I actually think that's better. Yeah, let's take the Auto Pistol. Mmm, that mobility, oof. God, the auto pistol is so heavy. I kind of like this squad better. Okay. We'll do this. Touching down. And I think, yeah, let's go ahead and cut the video here. Um, 
we'll go to the next segment. All right, well, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see some of you next time. Peace.